Yo guys, what's up man, it's your boy Big Hoss here. Uh, it's been a while since I've done any kind of like toy review or anything like that, you know, and I've been wanting to do, do one of these, I've been wanting to show off my Dota F Hasbro figures, and I've never got around to doing it now, i got some time, so I figure I might do some videos for y'all and show you some of the, what I have in my, pretty much this is my whole Hasbro collection, um, you know, there's a few that I still want to get. I mean, I'm not trying to collect all of them, but there's a lot of them that I do. Like, I think these figures look pretty cool. They just, they, they're, they're just. I like that cartoony look, and it's just, you know, it's something to, you know, have set up on your shelf, and it just, it looks cool to me. It looks cool, and I guess I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling some of these figures out. Uh, we got Sergeant Slaughter. Psycho Sid, some of these figures, their action doesn't work, so, Psycho Sid, or Sid, well, at the time, he was Sid Justice, in his early DF career. Uh, let's see, we got a Ravishing One, Rick Rude, and you get him in a headlock, kind of like this, and, and you just, that's pretty much all I did. That's one thing I hated about these figures, uh, just... You know, this is all we had to play with when we were growing up. If you're a wrestling fan, you pretty much you only went by the big rubber ones, or when these came out in the early '90s. Well, well, technically they came out in late '80, like '89, but really I don't think they really hit the shelves to like the early '90s. So, but um, I remember I didn't have too many of them growing up. All I had was probably like a Hulk Hogan, which I have him. I had like a Hulk Hogan figure, and I don't remember who else it was. I think. I know I had a Hulk Hogan figure, so an Ultimate Warrior figure, but I don't remember. I think I had like one other one. I just can't think of. But anyways, that's Rick Rude. Um, here's another one. It's pretty much the same thing as Rick Rude. Uh, pretty much got the same. Uh, everything's pretty much the same, except for the head head scan. But and just you know they did the coloring and all that different. But he pretty much does the same thing. Uh, let's see. Uh, got. Uh, demolition, demolition, uh, I think it's Axe, and then we got Smash. Uh, their body, they work. Axe and Smash. I don't have the mask though, so. Uh, since we, since I did the tag team there, I got one more tag team. Pretty much, I got Shawn Michaels and Marty Jannetty. Uh, Marty Jannetty, he did this little lift up his arm right here. Did like a little drop kick type action and Shawn Michaels you know you had the little uh, pretty much the, that pretty much that's it. I guess when they made these figures they were trying to uh, I don't know when they put them in the, when you put them in the wrestling ring it's you know a friend or something like that whoever had who and you just you know you took turns or something I don't know what they were trying to go with with it or you know you pretty much pick them up like this and slam them type thing it's to me I rather have the wrestling figures where you know growing up I wish I had you know figures that have where they can move and do the actual moves and stuff but not like just something that's kind of like you know this is what you get you know you can't you can't do a power driver with Shawn Michaels you can't you know you can't do certain moves and stuff and, you know it's just to me it's kind of I don't like that you know I like the articulation and stuff like that like the elites have now you know I wish we'd had those elites when I was growing up you know but well I will say the Jack's uh, bone crunching action was those are pretty good figures if, to play with and actually act like you were having a match and stuff like that. Um, I do have a bunch of those. I just I ain't got time to get to them. Those I got them just put away because they're not really something that you want to display. Really, they're not. You know, like these are you know like Bret Hart and all them. You know, the, the color of these figures are really cool to have displayed. Like the bone crunching figures, they're not really something that you would display. So unless you're just a hardcore collector and you just got got to have everything out there on the shelf and stuff. Me, I, I like these figures as something to have displayed. Uh, here's the warlock. His action don't work either. A lot of these, for some reason, most of the ones I have that got this action, it didn't really work. So, uh, let's see. Now we're starting to get down to the really the older ones. We got Hot Rod. Pretty cool looking figure with Hot Rod. Very cartoony. As I say, all these are pretty cartoony, but that's what I like about them because. 
they they they're like comp they're cartoony and they're, I mean they're not nothing to play with you know what I mean but to display like I've been saying it's just that's why I like them. Here's the Ultimate Warrior. This is one of the ones I've had since my childhood. He did the same thing that Shawn Michaels does that clothesline or whatever you want to call it type move uh, or shoulder block whatever you want to call him. Here's the Million Dollar Man. Surprisingly, I have his belt. He does like this little punch thing. That's pretty much all he does. And there's like that green one where you can lift his arm and he stumps on your head or something like that. Uh, here's another one of my favorites. I actually have Damien with him. Jake the Snake Roberts. He has the this little uh, punching action type thing where he pulls his arm back and yeah, like that pretty much. Pretty cool looking figure. I kind of wish his tights had had some more color to it, just like Rick Rude. You know how Rick, you know, another thing, like, when they made Rick Rude, you know, you would have thought that they would have made his pants or somebody that had, like, some really cool, out, crazy-looking color, you know? Because, you know, that's what Rick Rude was really known for. His attire was really crazy-looking, man. It'd be off the wall, you know? I feel like they could have done a little bit more for that, but you know how that goes. And here's another one of my favorites, uh, Andre the Giant. I mean, he has like the this little headbutt thing, which I think him and God, I can't even, I can't even pronounce. You know, the guy that was one man game. Him, I want to say him, maybe Bam Bam Bicolo. I'm not sure, but I just know that Andre the Giant. And there's like one other one that did the headbutt thing. I know Hakeem, Hakeem did the headbutt, and Andre did it. And there might have been like one or two other ones I know that did it. It's a pretty cool figure. Andre, that was one of the first, these are like the first line really actually, I think, I can show you, try to get it, get the ones I think, I think it's these right here, and one of my favorite, my favorite one of all of them is the Macho Man, him, these right here are like the first, I think the first set, and then I'm not mistaken, this is the Hulk Hogan that was the first one that they made. See, his action doesn't work either. But I have all the Hulk Hogan stuff for the, the very rare one, the one that's all, the highly one that's sought after, the one that's like $200, I think, or maybe $300. It's the Mellaway Hulk Hogan. He came like with the red pants or whatever. I wasn't about to pay for that, for that, so. Um, and then you got... The Hulk Hogan with like the bear hug or the holster squeeze or whatever you want to call it. He's actually, to be honest, uh, the I don't really have a hard time really keeping on these figures set up like in there, you know, like on my shelf just sitting there. But for some reason, him and Shawn Michaels they just do not want to stand up. I mean, it's hard to keep them standing, so I have to kind of like lean them somewhere because. Some reason Shawn Michaels followed, but I understand why Hulk Hogan is, because I mean, you know, this, he's just, it's real heavy right there, so I kind of try to like turn him this way, kind of like do like this little pose, make it like he's, you know, just doing his little, you know how he do the things, like where he pose and stuff, kind of like that, and then here's this Hulk Hogan, which is probably one of the coolest ones, because he almost like he's, you know, just strictly in his ring attire, you don't have a shirt on or nothing, but I mean, he still has the bandana, but he has like the, like Jake Snake has, the punch. Still a cool Hulk Hogan figure, um, but my favorite one out of all of them is this Hulk Hogan right here. This elite belt that I have around him, just because I got so many of them. Uh, him, he does like I think like a I think his move is called the the little thing that they got him set for. His little action is like the Hulkaplex or something like that, where you you uh, hang on, get somebody up. get get somebody like in a headlock or something. I don't know how this is supposed to work and just that. I don't know. Mr. Perfect has it too. It's like the Perfect Plex or something like that. But uh, that's my favorite Hulk Hogan is this one right here because I think he looks the coolest. It's just, I don't know. I always like this one. This is my favorite one. Uh, yeah, the Hasbros are pretty cool guys. Um, They're cool to collect for. That's for sure. If you're a collector like me or just, you know, just uh, to me they're just, they're cool figures and stuff like that and they, the way they look, they just look cool. I mean, they kind of got like that. It's just that retro. To me, it's just it. It brings back memories, and it's it's cool to have them. 
especially if you're like I said, if you like to collect them and stuff, or, or you think about getting into the Hasbro's, or you you know you collect wrestling stuff. I mean, I wouldn't know. I don't understand why you wouldn't have the Hasbro's. I would. The Hasbro's to me are pretty cool. They're cartoony looking. They're you know they're cool. Like I said, they're cool to display. They're easy to display. They're, they're not that big of figures. They don't take up a whole lot of room. Um, there's a quite a good bit of them in the series, and some of them do get kind of expensive once you start talking about like you know the one two three kid and all them like the la the last series that came out, I think the green cards or whatever. The, they're like the last ones that came out, so they were they're a little bit more highly sought after, just cause they didn't I guess they didn't make that many of them, and that was the end of the line. So, but like man, I love like like these like the Hulk Hogan, and Andre the Giant, another one of my favorites. My favorite ones. These three right here are probably my favorites. Uh, out of all the ones I have, it's just these three right here, mainly the ones I really like the most. Um, some of the figures I'm hoping to get later on, if I come across them at the flea market, that's usually where I pick these up, flea markets, if I see them. Because they usually ain't, but like, you know, somebody usually has them like in a container. And they might want like $2 or maybe 50 cent for these figures. Um, some of them now, like this whole cooking right here, I, I bought him off of eBay. And he was, I think I got him for about 15 or $20. For him, but he's in good shape. Uh, Macho Man, I, um, I got him, I think, for like five dollars off eBay. Not bad at all. Andre the Giant, he went for like five dollars on eBay. Um, this is the Hulk Hogan I had as a kid, and this Ultimate Warrior. And I don't know if I had any more. Cause like back then, man, wrestling figures around here were hard to find. Like, cause I only think. I know we had a key, we had a KB toy store in the mall, so but I just don't remember. Like when I was a kid, man, I, I mean I liked wrestling, but I didn't know a lot about wrestling. I didn't know that they had wrestling figures at that time. When I was at a certain age, I was into Ninja Turtles and GI Joes and Batman. That was my thing and Ghostbusters. But as I got older, you know, wrestling, I started realizing, you know, you know, the wrestling. I watched it, but. I didn't know they had like the toys and stuff and then one day I just seen them and I mean that was but by the time I found out about these you know the Hasbro's are just I don't know but they're cool you know they're really cool like I said they're just something cool to have posed up on your shelf and whatnot and you know, I don't plan to collect the whole series like, I mean like I'll say the few ones that I really are at like I'm really looking forward to finding is like the Steiner Brothers uh, Rick and Scott Steiner I like to get them. Uh, the British Bulldog, most definitely would like to pick him up. The Undertaker. Uh, there's like two other Ultimate Warriors that I want. The one that's like kind of like how Hulk Hogan is with this little thing, and the other one's like he's kind of he's like highly he's more highly sought after. He's got like where his feet you do like this little thing, his feet make his arms go up and down, which is stupid, but it's still he still looks like a cool figure to have. Uh, Giant Gonzalez, I'd like to get him as well. I'm trying to think who else. There's a few other ones. There's not. I think Coco Beware. Yeah, I'd like to get him. Mm, I can't think of. There's some other ones. Like the 123 Kid, Razor Ramon for sure. Like, come across him. You know. And I, I do also, I'm not going to lie, I do like the uh, fact that they have the. Uh, that they're bringing these, bringing these back out. Like, um, they're trying to, uh, you know, they got, like, Stone Cold figures now, kind of, I think, are coming out. The Rock, Brock Lesnar. I think it's pretty cool. But they still, to me, these, you know, these, just, they're so cartoony. And they just look cool. So, like I said, I collect these. I also collect the LJNs. I definitely, I do collect the elites. I don't collect, like, like I said, I'm not a hardcore collector, but I do have a good bit, but. My thing is, a hardcore collector is going to be the one that's going to buy every single figure that comes out, no matter if they like that figure or not, they gonna they got to have it for their collection. Me, I'm just one of the ones that buy the ones I like. If they look cool, that's the ones I want. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to end this video because I know it's getting a little long, but, you know, I figured I'd share these Hasbro's with y'all. But anyways, guys, I'm out of here. Peace.